Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for September 30th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Corner Edge Sudoku by Bill Murphy. We've done this variant before, um, but we have normal Sudoku rules, one to nine in each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, there are some clues outside the grid, and the clues tell us digits that must go either in the edge cells of the box, so these are the edge cells of this box. This clue is telling us that one, five, and eight go in those cells somewhere, or the corner cells. So this clue is telling us that one, three, and six go in corner cells in this box. And those are the rules. So let's get started with box one. We need one, five, and eight in edge cells in this box. And we have a given one here and a given eight here. So the one has to go here, the eight has to go here, and the five has to go here. Um, this is four, five, eight. We have a four down here. And then the 5 is going to resolve 8 and 5 here. Here we have 3, 5, and 6. This is the 3, 5, 6 from these givens. And 2, 6, 7, the 2 here. The 7 resolves that. All right, let's look at the corner boxes. We need 1, 3, and 6 here. We have a 1, so that's got to be 1. And we're going to be left with a 3, 6 pair, which we can't resolve yet. Uh, 4, 7, 8 here. The 4 has to go in that cell. This one is resolved by that 8. Here we have 2, 3, and 8. The 3 is placed. And then 2, 3, 6. The 2 is placed. And here we have a 6. So that is done. And now at this point, this is just a classic Sudoku with a couple of pencil marks unresolved. Um, so let's continue with that. Uh, eight's at the top. The only place for an eight is there. But we have something similar down here. We do. Eight's here. We're going to go in one of these cells. Uh, five. Five goes in this cell. And three goes in that cell from these threes. Eight goes in this cell. From these eights. Can we get this? I'm not seeing it. I did just notice though we're missing four, five, nine from this column, and we have a nine and five in the row. So that's four. Uh, five, nine here, which means this is one and seven. Don't think we can do either of those yet. All right. Uh, we're going to have a 1 down here. We're going to have a 2 here. Uh, 8. So 8 can't go in these cells with the digits, but we also have a 2 8 pair here. So this is our 8. And that means 2 now can only go in this cell, which means 1 in the column needs to go there. And then we have 7 and 9 left. These are 1, 5, and 9, which I don't think we can do yet, so I'll leave it. Uh, 3 and 9 here, that is resolved by this 3, 6 pair. 6 can't go in these cells, so it goes here. These are 2 and 7. These are 2, 7, and 9, and that leaves 4 at the top. These are 6 and 9, that is resolved by that 6, and these are 4, 7. So I have 4, 7, 1, 7, these are 4, 5, that is resolved from that 5. That's going to bounce up here and resolve all of that. This is 5. These are 1, 4, and 9. Uh, this is a 3. Uh, this run needs 2, 6, and 8, and we've got two of those there. The other digits are 1 and 9, which we can't do yet. This column needs 2, 3, 7. Uh, 2 and 3 here give the 7, and then the 3 here gives a 2. These are 6 and 8. Not resolved yet. So we've got our sixes, we've got our eights. 
Uh, what about these? Seven and nine. Seven and nine is resolved from that. It's going to resolve nine and four. And now we're looking for the last little. Oh, there's a three there. Never mind. Thought we were looking for something a little harder spot, but that was um, just there. So, uh, one and four here. And that's going to finish us off with a two. That's the solution. Um, yeah, really nice, gentle puzzle from Bill. Um, I like this variant. Um, this is obviously the very easy version of this variant, um, especially the way the edge clues resolved. Um, corners were a little, you got a little more to keep track of. So um, hopefully you can see how this variant could lead to some more interesting things. But, um, nice puzzle, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Let us know how you did in the comments, and I will see you next time.